The Project Japan. One of the most critical things for human beings to survive is air. It's all around us and it's an invisible mixture of gases that contains substances such as oxygen and nitrogen. Now, just as oxygen is indispensable for human beings, the gases in the air are essential for manufacturing. Even a smartphone can't be built without gas. So what role does gas play? Most people are familiar with gases such as natural gas used for energy. But there's another type called industrial gases used by industry. What exactly are industrial gases? We visited a certain research facility in Yamanashi Prefecture. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Toshihiko Hamada is the president and CEO of Nippon Sanso Holdings Corporation, which manufactures and sells industrial gases. He's what you could call a gas professional. He takes us inside their research building. On a desk are potato chips. There's a package that's been opened and another sealed. Please give it a try. First, the potato chip package that's just been opened. Very crispy and tasty. Next, the package that has been left opened. It's been left open for three days. It's a bit stale and tastes different as well. Yes, the taste has probably changed. In fact, this difference in taste has something to do with industrial gases. Inside this, there's food-use nitrogen gas. By sealing in nitrogen gas, the chips inside stay dry so you get that crispy texture. Also, oil reacts with oxygen in the air and oxidizes, so they become very bland. The fact that it becomes bland means the shelf life is shorter. So by sealing in dry nitrogen gas, the shelf life can be extended. Nitrogen is an inert gas that doesn't react with other substances. Replacing the oxygen within the package with nitrogen prevents oxidization and discoloration and helps retain the intended taste longer. Nitrogen gas, when liquefied, has other uses. Dry ice has a temperature of about minus 78.5, 79 degrees Celsius, while liquid nitrogen has an even lower temperature of minus 196 degrees, so it can be used to freeze things. Using extremely low temperature liquid nitrogen, things can be instantaneously frozen. Hear that sound. Isn't this amazing? Just like a few, few minutes, 10 minutes or so. Especially with fresh foods, the faster you freeze them, the less damage you cause to the cell membranes, and you can transport them over long distances with no loss in the quality and freshness. In addition to nitrogen gas, there are numerous other gases vital for industry. Oxygen, which is frequently used in the medical field, is also essential in such industries as steel and glass to enhance combustion efficiency. In the case of argon, its characteristic of not reacting with other elements is essential in precision processing such as welding and semiconductor manufacturing. Meanwhile, hydrogen is expected to be widely adopted in the future as a next-generation clean energy source, such as for cars. Industrial gases are indispensable and used across industries. Experts on industrial gases believe they will become even more critical in the future. There are three main points. The first is, the growing sophistication of industries will require greater use of industrial gases. The second is, that as emerging nations industrialized, they will need to process metals. For example, the melting point of steel is 1,550 degrees Celsius, so it's crucial to raise temperatures beyond that, meaning demand for oxyfuel burners or carbon dioxide used as shielding gas will grow. The third point is the importance of industrial gases in the service industry, such as for logistics to ensure food is delivered to customers at low temperatures. Advancements in industries will lead to greater use of industrial gases. 
One company that has been expanding its global share of this promising market is Nippon Sanso Holdings Corporation. Currently, it has the fourth biggest market share internationally. It is a major global player with operations spanning the world. Sales have been steadily growing. In 2018, they acquired the European business of a major U.S. industrial gas supplier and since then, they have accelerated the globalization of their operation through M&A. Nippon Sanso Holdings has been supporting global manufacturing with industrial gases. We explore its rise and its future. What I have here is a vacuum flask, or perhaps better known as a thermos. Now, thermos is actually a very well-known brand name. And this is also produced by Nippon Sansa Holdings. So we're going to ask the company CEO how they're able to develop such a wide range of businesses. Thermos is recognized around the world for its vacuum insulation technology offering exceptional thermal insulation. In fact, it's not unrelated to industrial gases. Your company is centered on the gas business. So why is it that you're also carrying out the thermos business? I'm sure you've seen vehicles like this on the streets. In fact, what's on top is exactly the same structure as a thermos bottle. It's an innovation utilizing the manufacturing, supply and management technology of industrial gases. About those industrial gases, what do you believe are the company's strengths and advantages? We focus on how best to offer convenience, safety and ease of transport, including the use of gas lines, to supply our industrial gases by comprehensively evaluating the industrial structure of our customers in Europe, the US, Japan and across Asia. How then are industrial gases actually produced? Behind me is an air separation unit. The inside has an extremely low temperature of minus 180 degrees Celsius. Gases are separated in relation to the boiling point. Nitrogen is minus 196 degrees and oxygen minus 183 degrees. So they're separated using that temperature difference. The gases are delivered as on-site supply through pipelines from the production factory to plants. Bulk supply using tank lorries carrying liquefied gases. And package supply in cylinders. Nippon Sanso Holdings oversees the entire process from manufacturing to delivery. In order to keep expanding our industrial gas business, a very important point is to provide gases to customers in fast growing regions. The people who best know about the situation of industrial gases in those business areas are the managers and employees of companies there. So we rely very much on their sense and information in how quickly we make decisions, whether to take action or to hold back. In 2020, the company was reorganized into a holding company with the rights and responsibilities previously centralized in Japan transferred to operations in each area. This allowed them to establish a nimble and efficient production and supply system. At the same time, the management of the best practices of each area is consolidated at the holding company and shared globally across businesses. This strategy is supported on the financial side by the company's CFO, Alan David Draper. With his experience working at a U.S. competitor and knowledge of the industrial gas business in Europe and the U.S., what does he think of the possibilities of Nippon Sanso Holdings? I mean, overall, the, the company obviously has a great background. They've done a lot of acquisitions. They've grown significantly. We're going to invest in this business. Uh, our midterm plan, NS Vision 26, we're expecting to spend about $433 billion in capital or capital and acquisitions over the next four years, and that's really going to propel us forward and continue to have us grow. So I see continued success is really seeing us to be a more profitable business uh, by doing a lot of initiatives through 
uh, sustainability, carbon neutrality, total electronics business, operation excellence, digitalization. I want that to really be my focus is profitability, quality of earnings, and growing the business over not just the next four years, but the next 10 years, 20 years, et cetera. Along with growth, helping to create a sustainable society is crucial. Nippon Sanso Holdings has appointed a chief sustainability officer to implement sustainable management. Our core products are oxygen and nitrogen, so our raw material is air. That means preserving the Earth's environment is also a major theme for our business. In addition to pioneering the frontiers of industrial gases, we also want to offer solutions to social and environmental challenges. The company made an early start in the development of carbon neutral technology in particular. Oxygen burners work by mixing oxygen with combustible fuel, such as natural gas, to raise combustion efficiency while reducing fuel usage. With a shift in energy to non-carbon dioxide emitting hydrogen and ammonia expected in the future, the company has been putting effort into developing combustion technologies. These metal components with complex shapes. They were made by 3D printers that can produce shapes not possible with conventional methods. In the chamber, nitrogen and argon are utilized to ensure the metals don't chemically react with oxygen and moisture. It's a sustainable technology that not only mitigates the loss of resources, but also contributes to energy conservation. Nippon Sanso Holdings is supporting next generation manufacturing. What do they see as their mission? Industrial gases are used by industries. But beyond that, are individuals in the Earth's environment. For everyone to live comfortably, we want to play our part by applying our technologies to provide solutions. Our goal as a company is first and foremost to realize sustainability as gas professionals.